power. Both uh, Ryan Hunter Ray and Andretti, and also on Will Power. And on Dixon back there. And Brandon Heaney gets out quick. Ryan Hunter Ray was third across, power second. Franchini up eight places. position. Wow. wow. <laughs> and Patrick up five. So did they put tires on? Sure looked like they were going for tires it for did. Dario. I got to say, my eye wasn't focusing on that car. I saw that Dixon definitely went with him, but I can't confirm that I saw Franchini. Wow. We're set up for some great racing to the checkered flag. It's Franchini, Will Power, Marco Andretti. We'll be, be, be back in just a moment. We are back here at Chicagoland Speedway in the final moments of the peak Andy Friesen Motor Royal Indy 300. Let's go back to that last pit stop and what happened to Dario Franchini. See him on the high side? He has to make a wide arc in. He does not take tires. Now watch when he pulls back out. He snookers everybody and beats him. Maybe Al Spire is right. We're down to a handful of laps. Let's go to Robbie Floyd to find out more from Chip Ganassi. Well, Chip, uh, some crazy things going over the radio right now, but that was one heck of a gamble you made. What what played in that decision? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're basically about a fifth or sixth car, and that's our shot to win them. That's the only shot we have. Well, I just heard over the radio just a minute ago, and everybody can hear the radios. They, they told Will Power that he does not have enough fuel to make it to the end. These guys were scrambling, and back, that has to put a smile on your face. Uh, you never know. You know, we'll see. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> Can't believe everything you hear on the radio. And also, nice job by the Target Chip Ganassi team. They had the tires out there, and they almost made it look like they were going to go for tires. And that's part of what you do. You lay out, making it look like you're going to go tires, and then you kind of pull the slide of hand. And he tricked me. Robbie, you were right on the money. No tires. Good job. And, and looking at the gri grid right there, Danica Patrick's now in six spots. Same thing. Came yeah, in fuel for fuel only. only. Let me give you the numbers. Okay. 7, 34, 10, and 06. So you got Danica, and you got the 34, and you got, they're all gambling right now, and it might work for them to be, get better spots. We have a new record for most different leaders in an Eyes on IndyCar Series race 11. We have 25 laps to go, 24 laps to go. In Atlanta in 1999, they were 10. Tonight, we have had 11. And this equals the record for the most different leaders. And also, we have had 25 lead changes as the green flag comes out. And here we go, hopefully, to the finish. Good restart by Dario, no question of Holding a couple car lengths there. Look at Kanan going to the hole, <laughs> and to the high side and now low side. Yeah. Danica Patrick is in the mix here. She's running sixth. Pressure from power on Franchini on the high side. I think that's the question is, with Dario now going to be protecting that bottom line, has he got enough grip in those Firestones as they keep putting laps on him to stay on the bottom and run flat and be fast? Ryan Hunter Ray has the most overtake assist, pushes left. Look at him slice and dice. <laughs> Tony Kanan going to the low side. That was Briscoe here just quickly on board. And remember, he doesn't have as much arrow as this guy, TK. So when you get up in traffic, that car moves around a lot more than having that extra downforce that TK has on. Marco Andretti to his right. Briscoe right behind. Dan Weldon finished second at the Indianapolis 500. He's running second here tonight. This is all just, I mean, so quick in terms of the way all this happens. Up at the top, yeah, yeah, as we see the uh, order that they are running in, you also see the number of overtake assists they have remaining. Look at this, four wide. Wow. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wow. Ryan. Ryan is way up in the gray, kicking up the dust. Yeah, safe to say that's not premium grip. Whoa, is that tight back there. Playing to the original storyline that if you go with the low down force, you're doing, I mean, it looked like he was unbeatable when he was on the front. Yep. Now he's stuck mid-pack and yeah. he's just going backwards. And he just lost, what, three yeah. or four spots right there in that sequence of getting up high. But how about Will Power? Everybody asking, well, how's he going to do when we get to the ovals? He certainly has been dominant on the street and road courses. Well, he is in a battle for second. On board with Briscoe. Look at he's just shifting up a gear, keeping that momentum on the high side. He still wants the momentum. Oh, wow. There it is. Wow. 
Well, we saw the dust coming up, but yeah. what about that close contact on his left front with Marco? Yeah. Man. You can watch here for a little while in Versus nonstop. We will take a break and be back for the finish of the race here at Chicagoland Speedway. Racing just doesn't get any better than this. We have 17 cars on the lead lap and 13 of them are within a second. Daria Franchitti leads Weldon, Power, Kanan, and Andretti. And Briscoe, one of those guys that was going backwards just a couple laps ago, now has had a big run in momentum, has come back up a little bit up on the high side of the racetrack. And look at Marco, he's up on the high side now. Boy, Dan Weldon has had just a great, great race. He has run up front all night. Currently running in second, but with a battle. Look at Briscoe. <laughs> you know, we're just looking him up on the high side. I mean, he, we just we just rode him off two laps ago <laughs> with with going backwards, but with not having you know that downforce in the car. He's fast if he can run flat and not have to get out of it. And not far behind him, Justin Wilson has come from way back to join this group. So now he's a player. Look at how many cars still have a shot in this race. Oh. Danica Patrick now getting into the back of this picture as well. And that was Wilson just looking, as you talked about it, there was him just looking up on the high side at the tail end of this race. Less than 10 laps to go when they come down this time. It'll be nine to go. There are the four drivers who did not take tires on the last pit stop. Franchitti was among them, and he still leads. And we'll see if that plays out as we get into the last four or five laps. Are they going to lose a little bit of that extra bite that you get from those Firestones with the wear on them or not? Well, we heard from Al Spire. I, I think these guys are good to go. Great call. 14 drivers within a second. Now with nine laps to go, there's the one thing that Robbie Floyd said about a radio communication to Will Power about not having enough fuel to get oh. to the end, which that doesn't make sense to me. He only <laughs> needed three and a half seconds of fuel. He should be fine. Yeah. But if that's true, that could... Oh, oh Chris goes! Go. Did he hit Chris, the wall? No, no, he didn't. And it was Ryan hunter Ray just kind of pushed him up there. And he had to get up there and gotten that gray. Now he dumped the throttle yeah. and lost that momentum. He's pretty much out of it. Hey, John, let me confirm the real power situation. I just talked to Clive Howe, asked him about fuel, and he said it is dicey at best. Really? Wow. Well, Franchitti holding everybody at bay, but behind him, action all over the place. Hunter Ray, very happy with the Andretti Autosport guys and, and the product that they showed up here with in Chicago. And we shouldn't forget about the fact that what happened at the end of the Indianapolis 500 when you had Ryan Hunter Ray ran out of fuel and had that horrific accident with Mike Conway. And Mike Conway, if you're watching, we know, we hope you'll be back soon. But that has to be a concern if you're following Will Power. They all monitor each other's radios, and if they think he might suddenly... And look, right he's now, back. Right now, just as you're saying that, he's going backwards. Five laps to go. How do you... How do you put yourself in that position when you are in the championship oh, points? Unbelievable. Oh. Wow. This well, is... at least he did not run out of fuel. He brought yeah. it in. But that... still, still, he's oh. coming under green conditions. No, he's but cupped. Say, from a safety standpoint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great I, news. Yeah. I well, wasn't. From a championship that. standpoint, that is. But major implications, perhaps, in the point championship as the leader comes in, leaving the battle on the racetrack to 13 others. You only Why? needed three and a half seconds of fuel. Something went wrong during the pit stop. They had a fast car, but again, he snake bit on the ovals. Robbie. Larry Koskis puts in that fuel probe. Only about a second stop, if that for them. He's had his hand in his hands these past few laps. He knows that that's what may have cost the number 12 a victory and maybe the championship. And the 
point interval is now 24. Will Power wow. leads Franchini by 24, and Franchini, of course, is the leader of the race. So Power hits the pits at the same time Franchini goes to the lead. You can't have a bigger swing. No, than no, and, and, and you heard Chip Ganassi say, hey, we only had a fourth or fifth place car. That was our gamble to win this race. And right now, with two laps to, to go, what a play, what a play. Does that Let's go along with rather be lucky than good? <laughs> Less yeah. than three miles of racing to go.